Hey guys and welcome back to another vlog. Today is May 4th. It is 3.42 and we are on board and I'm working with my friend Sheila. Say hi to Hola. Sheila. I don't know if y'all remember Sheila from when I was in mint training in December. Right? And you were in OBL training with me too, right? Yes. Yeah. Both. So we are starting a four day trip. Today we go from New York, JFK to San Diego. Tomorrow night, San Diego to Boston. Um, the next day, Boston to Seattle, and then the next day, Seattle back to JFK, and then we'll be done. I'm tired already. <laughs> it sounds exhausting, honest <laughs> to gosh. So, anyways, um, I'm just waiting for these cleaners to kind of finish vacuuming, and then we'll be on our way. So, <laughs> we made it. <laughs> it was like a crazy flight, y'all. Like, I've never had a San Diego so turnt. Well, really, just just in the back of the cabin, like the last four rows, there was a lot of a lot of us, a lot of me, a lot of black people going to San Diego. Look at Eric. <laughs> Eric, hi, you say hi to Eric. That's my first officer. Um, yeah, which is like unusual. Huh? Eric. Eric. I know. Captain's first name is Eric. First officer's first name is Eric. We got double Eric. First officer's cooler. <laughs> <laughs> no lie um, but yeah nothing unusual well black people are fine but just on the San Diego flight I've worked a couple of them and it's not usually that much so I don't know what's going on this weekend but yeah just like the last four rows they were just partying back there making friends drinking it up buying each other drinks taking selfies they were lively and then I had one girl up front in mint who was very entitled to everything she wanted. And, you know, sometimes it's like, okay, you pay a lot for the seat, you pay, you're paying for a service, and I, I will gladly give you the service. But we were going through a bit of turbulence and the captain made an announcement for all flight attendants to be seated. We were in the middle of service doing carts and I was doing my tray service. All flight attendants be seated. We'll resume service, you know, once turbulence is over. This is the announcement that the captain made. I'm trying to put up everything, and she asked me if she can get a glass of wine before before I sit down. Wrong question, honey. Everything goes out the window when it comes to safety, and my safety is more important than your glass of wine. That's not what I told her, but I just said, as it turns out, I do have to secure my cabin and galley and um, have a seat so she understood that she was pretty nice the rest of the flight she was needy though so um, ready to get to the hotel we might go out tonight or not who knows so we left the hotel we decided not to be slam clickers <laughs> Travis and Joey were going out and doing a little bit too much for our energy tonight so we're in little Italy it's popping out here. People are out having a good time. It's a Friday night. The vibe is nice. <laughs> and we're just going to go find a little place, have a margarita, maybe some nachos, and call it a night. Looking for a Mexican spot in Little Italy. <laughs> right? Okay, so we were headed to El Camino, but then Coke and Pepper just caught my ass. Who the F is? Say it again, Sheila. What does it that say? That sign over there says, Who the fuck is Louis Vuitton? <laughs> Obviously, I couldn't make that out. <laughs> so, we just realized it's a sushi place. They have sushi food. I don't really do a lot of sushi, but I'll enjoy a beverage and we can be friends. The Devil's Advocate. Not that I'm a Devil's Advocate, but the ingredients sound great. Let's see. Caribbean rum, passion milk, lime, blah, 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 It's very interesting. I didn't know what to expect, especially with the milk in it, but it's good. 
was different. Spot number two, and I ordered this award-winning margarita. It looks amazing. It has mango and some tequila, fresh lemon, lime, cucumber, and more mango. So I got surf and surf lettuce wrap. I decided to change the tortilla for lettuce. She said, guys, <laughs> Look at that smile on her face. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I just made a random decision to get up and go to a hot yoga class, Bikram Yoga. Um, I used to do it back in what 2014, I think, and I loved it. Like, I loved it, loved it, loved it. But there was only one location, and it was super far from my house in Houston, and. I switched jobs and I just stopped going. But my body has just been super tense lately. Like, I just can't ever seem to just like relax, like my muscles and stuff. So I know that Bikram Yoga is really good for that. So it starts at 8. It's like 7.20 now. I um, cooked boiled eggs for breakfast. I cooked them yesterday and I brought them with me. So I'm about to pop these in my mouth and, um, Go to yoga class. Let's go. And I'm here. This elevator smells really old. Which door is going to open? So y'all, Big Grandma was exactly what I remembered, except for I'm just not in the shape that I was when I was 26. I think that was the last time, either 26 or 27 was the last time I consistently did Big Room Yoga. And boy, it was hot in that room. Big Room Yoga is a hot yoga, so the room is like super hot. I need to find out exactly how hot it is so I can tell y'all factual facts over here. But it would be nice if I could just get a membership for all the Bikram yoga studios. You know, like if it was just like one that had them nationwide. But I haven't been able to find one, so. <sighs> I swear there's so much I could probably fill a gallon bottle of water or something. Like, this what was crazy. Now I'm exhausted. <laughs> Happy Cinco de Mayo! So, Roberto has finally made it. Say hi to Roberto. You know. What up, y'all? Waiting forever for him. Oh, my but God. <laughs> yeah. We have made it to Old Town San Diego, and this is where they are out here celebrating my third favorite Jeez. holiday, Cinco de Mayo. First Jeez. is Christmas, second is my birthday, third is Cinco de Mayo. So, it's popping out here, though. It is, though. So, we're just going to see what's going on get some food and I have a report at 8 p.m. tonight so it won't be out all day <laughs> I will uh. <laughs> he just got here he doesn't leave till tomorrow so he's he got he looked up oh my gosh. <laughs> This is my old car. This was the first car that I purchased right out of college. Pontiac Solstice. Mine was a stick shift. This is an automatic. I love this car. Look how cute this one is. Mine was great. Oh, I miss her. Yeah. Mine didn't have vertical doors though. Which is nice though. I miss her. Her name was Pepper the Pontiac. This beauty. Look, but do not touch. Oh, that's pretty. So, I'm in line for the pineapple pina colada. 
Oh, there's some churros right there. Yeah, I was about to say you didn't see it. I don't need both though. I really, no, I did a good workout. I had boiled eggs and a salad earlier. I'm on a roll. She's gonna get that churro later, don't worry. <laughs> or that free wing stop around the corner. Yeah, nah, do the, do the wing stop. Dude. It's hot out here. It is though. My day has been made. It's a virgin pina colada. It's good. It's good. Taste it. Damn, okay, fine. <laughs> I wanted to admire it first. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh. All right. What's next? We need food though. Yeah, yeah they are they good. Are. <laughs> Now I'm on the hunt for a churro. Oh, maybe a corn cup. So they got corn cups. <laughs> yeah. But there's a lemonade stand. I'll, I'll do a corn cup. cup. The corn on the cob just gets stuck, you know, in my teeth. I got this retainer down here. Bothers the heck out of me. They got everything out here, y'all. Popping. Y'all see me shining out here with my Fenty body lava? Yes or no? <laughs> Making the churros. Nice and fresh. Yes. And he is like... So now he's rolling the churro. Look how cool that is. With the different sugar that makes the Mexican flag colors. Happy single de mayo. Uh, this is Alexia and Nicole from her. Yeah. 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 Let's try it out and see. Thank you. You have a great day. Yup. That's a damn churro right there. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, that way. Always. 12 bucks. Are we in the red line for that? Yeah. <laughs> it's been getting longer and longer. Yeah, yeah for real. We were <laughs> right there, yeah. I should have did two for five for myself. Right? Uh, yeah, this shit is good. This churro is so tasty. Now, would it make it fat if we do the free wing stuff too? You <laughs> <laughs> don't pass your free food. You love your job, huh? It's a chicken wing, y'all. It's chain. <laughs> That's cool. I get one for my kid. I'm sorry. Can I be difficult and have half and half? Can I just get half and half? You don't have to give me two. You don't have to give me two. I always. I have one. Oh, yeah. Help us out. Oh, I love it. you want two wrenches? Oh, that'd be great. You're great. You I'll have, have lemon pepper, please. Lemon pepper? Yeah. Yo. No mild, right? No. What up? Thank you. You guys have one more Here you go. Oh, I'm good. I don't, I don't do hot. That's lemon pepper wings. Three of them. Gonna nom them on these. And um, guess we're about to dip. I don't really know. Layover is over. We are about to do this red eye flight, aka what we call a shut eye flight. We get to Boston at 5:30 in the morning, and we do a day sleep, and then we leave later on that day at 7:30 p.m. And we head to um, Seattle. So let's go. So guys, we're barely surviving our shut-eye flight, but we have a little bit over an hour left to go, about an hour, 10 minutes or so. And we're prepping our arrival bags for our mint customers. So the bag says, now arriving the steak mint snack so they get a juice. This isn't the juice that we normally give, so we must have ran out of, ran out of the other one. Um, a milk bar cookie. And then, alright, so the bagel rounds are done. Cookie. I'm just going to wrap them up in that foil and stick them in the bags and then give them to the customers. 
We made it, y'all. Alive. It is 5.50ish. Boston time. And this shuttle is always late. So maybe just because I'm so exhausted right now, they'll be early. They'll be on time at least. Making good timing. Wheels touched the ground at 514. It is now 604. I'm at the hotel and I'm about to wipe this makeup off and go to bed. See y'all when I wake up. Good afternoon. I slept for about a good six hours. Edited a YouTube vlog. <laughs> now I'm at the gym getting this workout in. And then probably by the time I take a shower and all that good stuff, you run to the store and get some things. It'll be time to go again. Day layovers are definitely not my favorite, but duty calls, y'all, duty calls. Quick little Target run. I need to get deodorant and um, I wanna look at the swimsuits. Shuttle's gonna take another 30 minutes to come back and get them anyway, so why not? And then shower, maybe a little mini nap. And then, um, oh, this is kind of cute. And then um, we'll head to Seattle tonight. Swimsuits. Look at this. It's such a pretty color. And they make stuff for girls like me that are a little top heavy. I love it. So I think today is going to be a no makeup kind of day. So I'm gonna put on my Peter Thomas Wild 24 karat gold mask. It helps lift and firm the face. And then I'm also gonna put on the um, Hydro Gel eye patches as well. And take a little nap. <laughs> These things, like as soon as you put them on, they're like instantly cooling. Well, of course, because they're, they're hydrating eye masks eye patches but like they feel so good as soon as you put them on <sighs> I'm a little tired y'all hopefully this flight tonight goes by pretty short in Boston so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be at least five hours to Seattle because Boston just always adds on extra time obviously because it's a little further than New York but isn't that gold so pretty just like a little gold goddess <laughs> like look at that just shining 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 yeah mm -hmm. so we got our mask on I'm gonna leave this on for really I'm only supposed to leave it for like 15 to 30 minutes so I'm gonna go finish editing the vlog that I need to post today and yeah that's about it just kind of relax these four days you know are they're long they're just they're just long days that's all i can really say <laughs> all right guys it is 5 50 i am heading down to the show it is a makeup free sunday i am gonna put on some lipstick after I eat a little something and we are heading to Seattle. Um, today's layover was about 12 and a half hours. Tonight's layover of Seattle is going to be about 14 and a half. And then back to JFK. Woo! Made it to Seattle. At the hotel. It's 11.26 p.m. I'm going to bed. Going to bed. Uh, good night. Good morning. It's like 6 a.m. I've been up for about half an hour or so. And I'm just laying here in my bed watching TV on the computer. Oh, I don't, I'm not leaving this hotel bed today. Well, maybe the bed. Maybe if I get a burst of energy to go to the gym because I should definitely go to the gym. But I'm definitely not stepping one foot outside of this hotel door. Like, I don't even want to see the street. Not until it's time to get on the van, to go to the airport, to work the flight back to JFK. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all y'all get from me today. Ooh, these four days, they're long. Luckily, I've had a really great crew this time. Y'all know my last four day was kind of 
tiring and exhausting. But anyways, good morning, y'all. <laughs> hey, guys. So I had to force myself to go back to sleep because I was just awake way too early. And that's why I'm always so exhausted. But now I'm going to go to the gym. Probably be in there for about an hour. And then by the time I get out, I'll be ready to take a shower, get dressed, and um, go to work. Head back to JFK. Last day of the four day. We are in Seattle getting something to snack on before boarding. <laughs> um, face is beat real cute. I just need some lipstick. She said my face is beat. And look, I did my, my wing liner. Y'all remember when I went to Sephora and got the wing liner class? It's kind of cute, right? Anyways, food back to New York and then one more trip tomorrow to San Fran. Then I'm off for like a week. Back to New York City. Uh, the end of the four day. I had a really good crew. That's all you wish for, especially on a four day. When you spend, it's not, you're not really, I mean, you spend a lot of time with those people. At least in like work mode, you know. Why is this bad dragging? Okay, I had to get my life together there. But yeah, you know, four days are just, they're long. So a, group, a good crew always makes it even better you know what i was just thinking i was like gosh i haven't posted that cinco de mayo vlog yet and hello duh because it was this trip <laughs> that's how long ago it feels like cinco de mayo was <sighs> anyways y'all thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure you subscribe like and share oh and i would really really like it if i could get to 2,000 subscribers by my birthday that's what i want for my birthday from y'all so make sure you're liking sharing and make sure you're subscribed yeah until next time bye